Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Environment Matters. I'm Annette Hoskins. Pollinators, those animals and insects that move pollen from flower to flower, are necessary to produce about a third of all the foods we eat. That's about $20 billion worth of products each year in the U.S. alone. In recent years, some of those populations have declined, but one West Virginia city is taking steps to help reverse that trend. The DEP's Mike Huff has more. One of the first things you notice when you drive into downtown Buchanan is all the flowers. The city has an active beautification program, but recently started planning a different kind of garden, a pollinator garden. I think most folks just see it as an extension of our uh, terrific flower program. That, oh, how cool, they're doing some wildflowers now. And there is that element to it, but again, it's uh, primarily to take care of those uh, little bugs that we need to uh, pollinate everything. So it's, uh, it's really a, an environmental initiative in no small part. Pollinator gardens are specifically designed to attract pollinators like bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds by providing food and shelter. A student at Buchanan Upshur High School, Lindsay Beaver, presented the idea of planting pollinator gardens on vacant lots to the city back in 2016 as part of a Save the Bees campaign she was working on for the Youth Leadership Association. And uh, out of that was launched this opportunity to buy wildflower seeds. The first uh, cube of that, I think it's a 40 pound cube and it cost us $600. We didn't have it in the city budget, so we passed the hat. I tossed 100 or 200 in the mix to help secure the first uh, packet. And Rob Barber, our horticulturist, just took off with it. And he planted uh, three or four gardens. And uh, then the next year we bought two cubes and I think two more cubes this past year. Of course, the uh, great part about this is these are perennials. So uh, many of them come back from year to year without having to be uh, reseeded or replanted. Besides this small plot in Jawbone Park, the city has planted larger gardens along the river walk. Those also help reduce stormwater runoff to the Buchanan River. They're also planted on city-owned lots in the floodplain where structures can't be built, including this one that also features an orchard and a grape arbor. We're one of the very few cities that has a full-time dedicated horticulturist that looks after our plantings. We uh, try to do about 100 trees a year. Just uh, in the last uh, few months, we've uh, put a bunch of new trees, not only in Jawbone Park, but over in our public safety complex. We also have an orchard over in our North Buchanan Park with the proceeds, the uh, fruits of that product going to the parish house to help feed the homeless and the, those who are challenged with the food budgets. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's part of our comprehensive uh, program to give back to planet Earth. Mayor McCauley says he hopes the program continues to grow in the years to come. In Buchanan, I'm Mike Huff for Environment Matters. If you'd like to add a pollinator garden to your landscape, it's easy to do. You can start with seed or purchase established plants, and it doesn't have to take up that much space. Even a window box planter helps. There are plenty of resources available online for plant recommendations and design tips. Just search pollinator gardens. That's all for this week for Environment Matters. I'm Annette Hoskins. Thanks for watching.